Hello everyone. Welcome to the YouTube channel of DCC Nita. So in this video, we are going to discuss the problem tracking segments, which came in code books round 881 DCC. In this problem, we are given an array consisting of n zeros. We are also given a set of m segments, and each segment is defined by two numbers l i and r i. Now we can call a segment beautiful if the number of ones on the segment is strictly greater than the number of zeros. We, are, we also uh, have q changes and in each change we are given a position x and now we have to assign one in that position of array a and now we have to find the first change after which at least one of the given segments becomes beautiful or if it is not possible then we have to print minus one so now looking at the constraints we can see that an n square solution is not possible we have to think uh, some n log n logic like uh, binary search so we can apply binary search on two changes this is because if uh, it is uh, possible to get a beautiful segment by applying at least x number of changes then it can uh, obviously get beautiful segments by applying x plus 1 number of changes and x plus 2 and, and so on but we cannot have it below x so we can see that the search space is monotonic in nature thus we can apply binary search on it Let's take this second test case and see how we can apply binary search on it. So this is the second test case that we have seen. And now let me clearly write what are these numbers different for. So here n is 4, uh, m is 2, and this is the two segments. And uh, this is q means the number of changes that we have to do and these are the changes to n so i have written all this here and these are low high and mid for binary search initially our low will be set as 1 and high will be set as q so the value of q is 2 so it will be 2 and now let us calculate mid which will be 2 plus 1 3 by 2 which is 1 so now we have to see that by applying first change first one change can we have beautiful segment or not so let us see our first change uh, we have to do on second position so let us set this as one and now we have to check uh, in this area that uh, if our, any of our segment is beautiful or not and now uh, we cannot uh, just simply iterate over these uh, segments and check if, it, uh, if we have any uh, how many ones we have or uh, like we cannot just uh, namely iterate over this array and find uh, if a uh, segment is beautiful or not because it, it may give us uh, TLE uh, we have to use some optimization such as uh, prefix some array so we can quickly check if a segment is beautiful or not by counting the number of ones in so I will show the, show you this in code. First, let us see that uh, in first segment, the seg it is from one to one. You can see it is clear that it is not a beautiful segment because we have only one zero and no ones in it. So the second one is four to four. Again, this is not a beautiful segment. So we cannot have a beautiful segment by setting mid as one. So now we will change our low to mid plus 1 which is 2 and let me reset this array. So now if our low is 2 and high is also 2 then our mid is 2 plus 2 4 by 2 that is 2. So now we will see that applying first two changes it is possible to have a beautiful segment or not. 
so first let us set this one in second position and also uh, we'll uh, set the third position as well okay okay so now let us check again segment one to one so it is not beautiful and segment four to four again it is not beautiful so again we have to increase our low to make plus one so it will set to three and now we can see that our low has crossed high so we will stop our binary search here and we can see that we did not find any beautiful segment in this entire process so it is not possible to have any beautiful segment by applying these changes so answer to this test case will be minus one so, so we can see for the second test case it is minus one so now let us look at the implementation so first of all we'll take the inputs and nm and we'll take this uh, array a of pair of integers then an array b of q queries and and we'll set our low to one and high to q these are the same variables as we have seen in here exactly same you can relate it with and now we'll do our binary search find out mid and check if it is possible to have our answer or not let us see this is possible function so first of all we'll make this array c and for mid number of queries we'll set one in those positions in array c now we'll make a prefix summary as i had told you earlier so we'll make our prefix summary and populate it and now we'll check that if in this segment number of ones exceeds the uh, half of the length of the segment which is the right boundary minus left boundary plus one here i have uh, added three because i was using greater equals to sign you can uh, simply see strictly greater than sign and add just one to it that's no issue and if it is possible then we'll return true or if we do not return true from this loop we will return false so accordingly we will change our low and high and finally we will see that if our low has crossed q then it is not possible to have our answer which we just saw in the test case here so we will print minus 1 in that case or else our, our answer will be stored in low so we'll just remove it so i hope you have understood the video and explanation thank you for watching